Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. When we last left off, we managed to get ourselves the Hydrazine Bomb. So, uh, let's go to the shop first. <laughs> and sell all of our gear that we don't need. Um, we've made a little bit of money. And we've got ourselves kind of a basic... Ah, yeah, we were going to pick a fourth weapon, weren't we? Hmm... Ripper sounds interesting, but eh. I'm thinking either the f contact beam or the force gun. Now, I'm guessing a weapon that we can use to blast the enemies away does sound fun. Actually, one thing I should check. Ah. Oh, storage is what we want. Here we go. So. We've actually got both the upgrades for the force gun. So, that cinches that. Let's grab these. And let's go grab our force gun as well. If we go to the right page. Alright. Looks like I'm going to have to play this game like a fourth, a third time. To upgrade everything. Now, where was there a bench? Uh, there's a bench just through here, apparently. Are we sure? Yep. Bench through here. Let's go. Let's go get powered up. Ugh. Stuff in the way. Now... Where was the bench that I've heard so much about? Am I being thick? Oh, that's not the bench, that's a tram. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. Where's the closest bench then? Uh, I think that's a bench. No, that's not. That's a power node. Alright, well, I suppose what we'll do then, we'll just hold on to it until we can um, run into a bench. Probably not going to be that far into the future. They're not as common as safe spots, but they're not rare. Oh, that's so cool. Right, time we weren't here. Open sesame. Oh, hi. Nope, we're good. Wow, we're getting some serious lag and stutter around here. It does look fantastic though. Absolutely fantastic. Alright. So Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias' body. Get his rig codes and the computer's all ours. Sounds like a plan. Right. Oof. I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting to find in the morgue. Apart from somebody desperately trying to give me a hand. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Ooh, dude, I can see your lungs. And your, uh... Nuts, I guess. Alright. Oof. Not fun. Not fun at all. <clears throat> Level one. Wow. Required. We don't even have level one yet. All right. All died. Sorry, we are full. Hmm. Sounds like our local hospital. Oh. Lupin 
transmit all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, he's seizing. Oh, shit. Maybe I have some HP left. Yeah, not great. So we can follow Nicole. Now, Nicole has a secret little hidey hole. Which we are going to thoroughly investigate in a second. So, level 2 required for that one. Level 1 for that one. Okay. Right, well, it looks all quiet in here so far. Now, can you see what I can see? See all these little canisters and things placed around the room? Yes, you know what that means. I know what that means. This is going to be a highly contested area. Dude, look at this guy. You can see like muscle fibers, muscle tissue. He's, yeah, he's toast. But the thing is, you can clearly see like, you know, the character models aren't even in the same sort of league as Callisto Protocol. But uh, for so somehow they just look better. I think there's just more detail there. Right, so, what else have we got in here? We've still got our force gun. Ooh, nice. Right, so these showers seem to be down. Let's have a little look. Don't trust it. Don't trust anything. Notice that. What do we have hidden in here? Ah, nice little hidey hole room. Okay. Well, before we do anything, we're going to loot. I'm embarrassed to say, this actually took me quite a while to find. Yes, I'm embarrassed to say, um, <laughs> I did open that. And although I saw both of these showers were open, um, I didn't notice the little symbol there. So, you know, you can take the piss, it's fine. I'm a big boy. Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now, it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations. But it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need... Wait, where's that report from engineering? Oh, here. The engineers pulled something out of machinery. Limbs missing, torso intact. Okay. Time for a real autopsy. Hmm. Interesting. So things... Nicole was definitely trying her best to figure out what was going on. Without the unitologists kind of interfering. That does seem to be uh, kind of a focal point at the moment. Because as far as I can understand, in the law of this game, um, at this point, unitologists are annoying. Um, you know, they're just kind of like this unknown quantity, you know, typical religious group, I guess. Whereas, we're about to find out that there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. They're just one of those religious groups. No harm, right? Oh, hi. Alright. Looks like we have multiple enemies coming in. That's fine. 
against those little shits on the floor. They're the ones that bother me the most. You. Oh, hi. I don't think so, somehow. Really? Why didn't that work? There we go. You're done. Now these blue ones are like giant stasis uh, fields, which is kind of cool, to be honest. I think we're good. Okay, I actually think we held the line pretty well there. Shame about the lights. But you know, what's a few broken light bulbs amongst friends? Next log. So, Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych. Okay. Uh, so, for patient Harris, we're going to hear his name a lot. Harris is asleep after another dose of sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events of the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planetside. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Um, Sicario hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. Oof. Um, and Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists that there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This classic uh, psychopathic behavior, this is classic psychopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is fallible and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions when questioned about Evans' murder. However, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims uh, that the explanation is stuck in his mind and that, it, and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behaviour on any available surface, claiming the dreams need to speak, that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of this case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. Hmm, so Mr. Harris, a perplexing case indeed. Alright, let's open that door up. We can't use it yet, but it's clear. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to see uh, somebody else take a vested interest in Harris. What did I do with the battery? There it is. Right, let's juice that in. See, this is another thing as well that I hate to keep contrasting with... Oof. Um, the Callisto protocol, but the logs that you found in Callisto were just really... Unin oh, God, look at her. There's nothing left. Nothing left. Yeah, Callisto, um, the dialogue and the logs that you could find were really not that great. You know, a couple of sentences here and there. Uh, this game has so much world building. And it makes a heck of a difference. Always check behind you. Oh, you're a big boy. Come on. Drastic measures might be necessary for you. How do you like that, huh? You like that? Yeah, you like that, don't you? Cleansing flame. Oh, man. Needed a lot of cleansing flame. 
Damn. We need to make this flamethrower a little bit more powerful, I think. God, look at these people. They're just messed up. But there's a lot of bodies here, which I find interesting. Oh, level 2 door. Now, the reason I find it interesting, we will discover later on. Like, according to my understanding of the law, surely there shouldn't be so many bodies, but I don't know. It's quiet. Be quiet. So we need to go through. Oh, there's a message there. Hmm. Alright. Emergency shower. Can't get through to that one. Alright, let's go have a little listen to this. Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will lock me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. Oof. That's some serious psychosis. So we don't know if something's actually, you know, in the walls or if she's just, you know, paranoid and hearing these things. Oh, hello. You know what, dude? I'm not here to put up with any nonsense from you. Oh, hello. I say. As apparently a whole army approaches. Oof. Force energy. We'll take it. Right, what well, we got? Credits. Flamer fuel. Nodes. Audio logs. And money. Mercer, it's Karen Kite. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Well, that doesn't sound promising, does it? Alright, let's get the force gun equipped. So, it uh, actually tells us here, so, the flamethrower, ah, we can create a wall of fire with a flamethrower. Interesting. It actually gives you a description of the weapons as well. Plasma Cutter is a high energy precision material cutter or mineral cutter. So the flamethrower is an industrial hydrazine torch. The line gun is a wide beam cutter equipped with laser targeted laser targeted survey charges. So you can put a laser trap uh, trap down. Interesting. And the force gun is a short range kinetic booster device. So you can create a gravity well. Okay. Interesting. I'm sure we'll get to experiment with these later on. Yeah. Alright. So we have an alternate attack, apparently, with most weapons. Now I can't remember if that was the same in ooh in the original. Probably was. Ooh. <laughs> well, he's dead. Um, right. Well, I mean, we found two people that were alive. 
sadly they weren't alive for very long. What a shame. Well, no time for tears. No time for tears indeed. I mean, that's some serious surgery, let's be fair. Probably wouldn't want any of that. Would we, Isaac? Oh, we've got a save point. Um, yeah, let's drop a save point. <laughs> drop a save, why not? Okay. Still haven't found a repair bench. Ooh, Jesus. Alright. What the hell caused that? Jesus, that's a hell of a... Oh, hi. Yeah, pretty sure that wasn't caused by him. Whatever. This ship really is coming apart, the seams. Hmm. Oh, well, let's get out of here. Seems to be the reasonable thing to do. Oxygen recharge, don't need that. Right. Well, what could possibly go wrong in here? Okay. Slow and steady. Ooh. What do you have? Oh, 100 credits. I mean, I guess. 100 credits is better than no credits. Oh. There's a lot of bodies in here, which is bad. And you're going to see why that's bad. In the not too distant future. Oh, text log. So this is my unfortunate duty. So who's this from? Doctor uh, G. Dumas, medical examiner. Report of death on ship. So subject Captain B. Matthias. It is my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments uh, to the condition of the body. Subject was in generally good health for his age, although a, a cursory blood test indicates uh, leukocyte count was very low with... Uh, Endosyphilis. Was that endosynophilis? Whatever. In particular, almost non existent. Yeah, his pre flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset, but it does not appear to have had any effects on his death. Multiple contusions in the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre mortem. Light contusions around the ribcage indicate he was restrained, lightly, for a brief period. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through to the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing a rapid neurotrauma, seizure and death. The angle of penetration into the ocular cavity indicates that the injury was not self-afflicted. Examination required the removal of the object to confirm the cause of death. But it has been preserved for the investigation team to study. I therefore have no alternative but to record the preliminary verdict of unnatural death. 
whether deliberate or accidental, is beyond my jurisdiction. So, old Captain, he was murdered. Okay, or at least put down in a manner not to his own uh, efforts, I guess. Right. Can we open? Can we go in? There's Captain. Oh, hi. It's a little bit uncomfortable there. Yeah, that's really cool. So we have discovered our first... Oh, shit. Our first instance of these infectors, I guess you'd call them. So we're going to use liberal amounts of fire to quell this contamination. Oof. Cleansing fire. Yeah, these things, if there's lots of bodies around, can rapidly become out of control. That flamethrower. Have I said how much I like the flamethrower yet? That is a nice flamethrower. Right, well, we can see that these necromorphs do like to infect bodies. They are watching. I guess they are watching from beyond the vents. Oof. Oh, hello. Blame for a fuel. Yes, please. We need as much hydrazine as we can get our hands on. Captain's rig. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! Ugh. Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Yeah, nothing like a bit of uh, fire to melt the infection away from the bones. Right, so we now have a security clearance of one. It's not really worth backtracking with a security clearance of one. We'll probably handle that at the end of the game anyway. Maybe. Clearance confirmed. Uh, what time are we on? 128. Hmm. There was a save room straight through there, but we'll keep going. Yeah, I think we'll do one more video for the set and then I'll have plenty of videos for the week. Not that I would. Isaac. I'm here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Well, that's bad. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless. Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Hmm, okay. Well, if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do, I guess. Yeah, I don't actually want to stop playing this. Because I'm having a bloody riot. Well, I guess we'll unlock these. A little bit of stuff. Um, can we, what else can we grab? Don't think we can grab that yet. Let's have a look. Oh, we can. 1200 
buckaroos. Not bad. Level two required. Yeah, thought as much. Kind of not super worth backtracking um, until you have max clearance, to be honest. Just makes the most sense. Clearance but, you know, if you're going to go back and get every single pickup throughout the entire game, that's kind of a tall order anyway. Oof. We good? Really? Color me surprised. Alright, well, whatever. Did we find anything to sell? Can't remember. Um. Ah. Hang on. Hang on. We can upgrade. We can buy things to upgrade our weapons here. Flamethrower upgrade. Um, yes. It's expensive. Sure, but we don't have the ripper. We don't have the pulse rifle. So we can buy the line gun upgrade. See, we got a force gun upgrade there, but don't we already have a force gun upgrade? Pretty sure. So we've got a thing that looks like a collection of tubes and a handle. We don't need those. Right, let's just have a quick look here. Ah, no, so that is a different upgrade then. Because as far as I'm aware, there are three upgrades to every weapon. Um, let's, I guess, buy all of these. Uh, we'll grab that, we'll grab that, and we'll grab that. From what I can remember, I think there's three upgrades for every weapon. One you have to buy, and then there's two optional upgrades that you can find, I think. Cool. Anyway, I don't think you can already buy upgrades that you already have either, because you can't sell the upgrades. Anyway guys, we're going to save it there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm probably going to record one more video for this set. Um, and then uh, get to editing. So I hope you're enjoying this game. I'm loving this. Uh, for some, Somehow this is even better the second time through. I'm not really sure how because it was fantastic the first time through. But yeah, really enjoying this. So as always guys, until next time.